conversation right there. Okay. I was just commenting on the, on the panels sitting close to the roof. And Eddie told me, told me something. Well, you can kind of see it on this one, although we got it jacked up a little bit. Normally, there's about two and a quarter inches of space underneath this panel. And oh, if you yeah, we're good. There we yeah, go. That's right. see, I can stick my hand underneath of it. It's a little bit higher than normal because we're just holding it up. We're still working on things, but it's about two and a quarter inches. With uh, with Z brackets, you're almost dead flat on the top of this roof. And these panels, especially in the summertime, they produce heat as they generate because that's a dark surface. Put your hand right there. You can feel it yourself. That's good and hot. Oh yeah. And that panel is producing energy and it's creating heat because of the dark color. And they need to cool off. And I've seen some that were so blooming hot because the airflow couldn't go under them because that air under here is nice and cool. Yeah. With it all the way to, down to the ground, it gets so hot it keeps that panel from cooling off. And when they, when they get too hot, they don't produce enough electricity. They'll actually derate themselves because oh. they get hot. And I was reading about that and okay. that told me I needed to step them off the ground a little bit for airflow. Right on. Cool.